you know, I was going to wait uh, until one o'clock. And I thought, you know what, I'll start streaming now. Fingers crossed this works. I think I've got a bit of latency. It should be public. You should be able to hear me. Um, I've got some viewers. I've got some likes. Mark Webber Webster. Can you hear me, Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Wee woo. <laughs> Boyd Gaming. Can you hear me? Please tell me you can hear me. Hello, hello, hello. Blimey, people are dropping in. Pro Farmer. Farming STE. Good afternoon, Pithers, Sparty Guides. Yes, we, you can hear. Oh, you know what? I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Finally got it to work. Ah, oh, I'm going to keep looking from side to side, obviously, because I'm, I'm checking the chat. Uh, and obviously, as we go, uh, Griffith Mallon from South Africa. Coda's got game of Kira, Kieran Machin. Sean Bruce, Crazy Sammy, Dirty Truck, Fireworks, Adrian Sheridan, Daniel Hamilton, James McMahon. We got it to work. <laughs> Luke C, thank you very much. Omismo, Lawrence Anderson. How's the Steel family? We're all doing okay, thank you very much. Toss to 12. <laughs> Hi, Totster. Yeah, it's, I've got it working. I have to say this before I start anything. Huge, huge, huge thank you. To DJ Goham, Gogo Pop, and um, Driver Fifty Three yesterday for helping me out because it was horrendous. First person to get my name right. Did I? Or did, okay, <laughs> cool. Pithers nineteen ninety. Shane S. Marco. Is it Mendonca? How goes it? I'm doing all right. The issue yesterday was incompetence. It was me being an absolute luddite. Um, just I'm used to playing on console and on. PS4, it was just a case of um, hit broadcast and kind of why you went. PS5, it wasn't that straightforward. So in talking to um, DJ yesterday, I'm now streaming through the Elgato and OBS, and hopefully it should be working. But it's still, it's PlayStation I'm playing on. Beers looking mighty fine. Thank you very much, James. Uh, Israel Paolo, hello. David. Oh, this is amazing. Aidan Martin. JSW Farmer. You didn't miss anything yesterday, JSW. It was it was an embarrassment. <laughs> it was horrendous, and I'm so sorry about that. Um, yeah, we're all doing good, right? So, Danny, if you message me directly, Danny, about sending Air Force patches, uh, we can sort out an address to send them to. I normally get them sent to a separate address rather than my own, but we can do that. Hello, Ryan. It's all going good. John Linden, Lakes Farmer. Hello. Simon Potts, well done for getting it fixed. It wasn't me. Um, what was more amusing yesterday was was um, watching back the stream that had saved was just me in silence, getting redder and redder and more exasperated with every second. It was horrendous. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, we do live and learn. Absolutely. Aaron's RC Adventures, afternoon. How are you? Danny Galoos, Ben Schmidt. Hello, Farmer. Eric White. How are you? Richard Adler. Right, what am I going to be doing today? Um, I'm going to be going on to, it's really difficult, so I'm trying to watch all this at the same time. Can I move that over? Let me see if I can move this, because that would make life so much easier. Not that. That. Ah, oh, there we go. See, it is that you live and learn, isn't it? <laughs> if I move that there, I haven't got to look as far over. Um, right, we're going to be playing some um, Italia demo. And to be honest with you, it's not so much about what map I'm on. It's the fact I'm streaming. It's a test stream ready for FS22 coming out. Um, Italia demo, I've got a lot of behind the scenes work I need to do. Um, so I need to kind of crack on with that. Um, Jamsy Simulation, hello. Jason Sisson, Farming Sim World, respect the beard. Kneel and praise before the beard. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm assuming the sound's okay. I mean, the, the mic's quite a way away from me, but it seems to be okay. Um, thank you, Jelsa Farmer, Linda H. Hello, you can't wait for FS22 or just the stream? I'm not quite sure which, but yeah, I can't wait either. It's going to be amazing. So, I suppose I should want to get straight in with it, really. Shall I? 
chatting and playing at the same time. Yeah, I've done a few streams in the past and it hasn't been too bad. It's not so much chatting and playing. I can chat and play all, all day long. That's not a problem. Um, but the problem I find is watching the chat, <laughs> trying to keep up with the chat at the same time. And I don't, I don't want to miss anything because people are taking time out of their day to watch me. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to make a mess of it. <laughs> Victor 360 Excavator Operator. Wow, that's the title. Uh, hello, Doug. Hello, Dean. Michael Kelly. Alex Maxim. Uh, did I read the forum about the AI rework? Sounds like they're really trying their best. Yeah, um, I was talking to DJ yesterday about FS22 and about the new AI worker system. And he had said best advice is going to be for the time being turn off traffic and make sure there are no obstacles anywhere um, because they will get hung up um, which I kind of thought that anyway um, Swiss Mizzy hello Echo Farmer Greg Moody good morning afternoon yeah depends where you are Damien Schofield it's just uh, it's one o'clock it's 1 p.m. here I was going to start at one but I thought I'd start a little bit earlier um, am I excited much five days to go I am like a small child at Christmas. It's brilliant. I haven't felt like this in quite a while, so it's awesome. Uh, right. Hello, Sean. Tank Life. Ronan McConnell. Jan Erickson. Hello, Jan. How are you? Yes, Mr. City Pete is live. Hello, John. Can't wait for my tutorials. Yeah, I know. I'm a little bit nervous, I suppose. Anyway, I suppose what I should be doing is actually, you know, I'm supposed to be streaming. <laughs> Italia demo, let's get that on. Uh, do that, and I want to turn off precision farming because I haven't been using that. I haven't set any moderators yet, and I need to th think about that. People I can trust. Um, precision farming off, yeah, and away we go. Right, that should be loading. Also, got to make sure when the music starts, so I start straight away. Hello, DAP Simulations, how are you? Sammy, Will, Alistair, Will. This in the cab of your truck on the M1. Wow. <laughs> Thomas Robb, Shane S. Does the pre-order bonus come with disc versions of FS22 or just digital? Uh, it depends if you ordered a hard copy. If you've ordered a digital copy, oh, actually no, if you ordered a hard copy, um, I don't think it comes with a digital code. I could be wrong, it might do. Um, yeah. Some different animals in FS22. Yeah, um, I don't know, maybe models will go a little bit further without, I'm not sure. Smooth juice. Just going to grab a butty. <laughs> Hello, Honey Badger. No, no robot today. Well, no, we're not having the robot today. I need to stop that because that's what I said. That's going to be really annoying. So, now, this is also going to be behind the scenes because what you normally see is the edited, smoothed out version of what I'm playing. <laughs> but obviously, there's going to be some tabbing between vehicles and bits and bobs I need to do. Um, wow. Thank you, Jelsa Farmer, for the 50 knocks. Awesome live stream. I haven't done anything yet. I'm just talking, but yeah, thank you. That's fantastic to hear. Um, messages held for review. Oh yeah, I need. To, um, that's what I need to do. Set some people, don't I? Take my time. I know. I know it's, 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 it's stressful. I've done it a few times, but not not much. So. Anyway. Um, do not compute requirements are needed for FS3 2. Um, no, they should be on the Farming Simulator website. They normally put them up there. If you click on to buying it, it should tell you what the requirements are usually. Um, collector's Edition of PC comes with a digital code. You know what? Last time I got the Collector's Edition because it came with loads of cool stuff. Um, this one comes with the beacon. I haven't ordered it. I was thinking about it, but they said they were very limited stocks. I don't know if I'll be able to get older one, but um, who knows? Um, Hello, Rock Stuff, D Charger. <laughs> oh, I love what I it's just, it's a problem. It's like a stream and just watch the chat because, you know, it's amazing. FS19 says weird bugs, no reason I was playing chat. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? So, I've got a list of stuff here about FS22 that we can talk about, not talk about. If anyone wants to talk about anything in particular, anything they're excited about. I don't have all the answers. I have a lot of questions as well, but it's just a more of a chat, a kind of let's all chat together about what we're excited about, I think. Hello, Brummy AVFC. Uh, have you, have you, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, I'm going to say this now, actually, well, before I even start doing things. 
Uh, mental health is a big thing, and we all suffer from it. Everybody does, and especially with all the current and previous situations over the last 18 months, it's been difficult um, for everyone. And I think as well, um, thank you, old Cranky. Thank you, Farming STE. It's very kind of you. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'm always very humbled when people donate or you know say nice things it's, it's lovely um what's silly g up to silly g is at university now she got into university she is at the university of westminster uh, we live on the outskirts of london so she travels in um and she's doing criminal psychology um and then she works weekends and another day in the week as well so she doesn't have a huge amount of time unfortunately but um yeah Base game for FS22 is not good, not better than modern. Yeah, um, the base game for FS22, when you look at everything that's been released, um, they it's, it's a different game. I mean, let's be honest, it's absolutely massive. Um, we will see. Um, to me, the biggest feature is the tree fall sound. I mean, just sounds in general. Listening to the tractors, listening to... I mean, look, let's, let's do it. Let's start this up. I need to do something. Um, thank you, Spider. Very kind of you. Walker Entertainment, how are you, sir? Um, thank you, the Woodland Warrior. I'm glad, you know, I'm, I honestly, I, I am always very humbled to the fact that people say I've helped them through whatever I've helped them through. That's amazing, that's incredible. I'm just to do what I do, you know, I, I think that's amazing. Thank you, Steve the Farmer, very kind of you. Um, I'm very well. Farmer Min says hello. <laughs> Thank you, old time of day. Country bumping, bumpkin gaming. Um, seems all the best after 19 mods are now base game. Yeah, I mean, they have kind of taken that all on and said, you know what, let's implement this and have it in the base game. That's a great stepping stone for moving forward. I mean, I would imagine they've done that with the kind of the modders, original modders permissions. They've kind of gone away and done that. Um, now, I haven't been on here for absolutely ages, and the problem has been not being able to get this set up and working properly. I always intended that this episode, 15.5, was going to be streamed, because um, I had a load of behind the scenes stuff to do, and then all sorts of things happened, things went wrong, streamed didn't work, and it just went to pieces, you know. So, I can't remember where I was at, I know I've got a load of ploughing to do, I know I've got some silage harvesting to do, I know I've got bales to move. I'm waiting for the poplars to grow. So, hello, Ryan. FS22 should play fine on PS4. You know, I, as, as far as I'm still, I'm, st I'm still as far as I'm aware. FS22 will have separate games for PS4 and PS5. If you've bought a PS5, you can play PS4 games on PS5, but I think it'll have a separate version, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, thank you for sticking with the streaming. I've had to give it a go. Am I still under the stairs? I am still under the stairs, yes. I am Harry Potter, the Vegas years. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Stephen Scott. Very kind of you. Oh, elementary kids to school. You're a bus driver. Oh, fantastic. It would be great if you could have a dog in the cab. FS22 is now, what, five days away? I've got machinery everywhere here. I need to sort this out. Um, what am I going to start with? Like I say, I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to get done. It, it is, oh, I need to get some horses. That's what I need to do. I need to get some horses delivered um, from Pete. Um, I've got a contract. I've got to work out if I can sort out um, getting that up so I can read it out. Um, am I getting early access to it? That is a mystery wrapped in a enigma. I am, yes. Um, hopefully Friday morning the same as uh, anyone else is getting early access um, a lot of YouTubers as far as I know a lot of YouTubers are getting it on Friday on PC I should be getting uh, I should be getting a console code on Friday morning so I should be able to put up content console related hey DJ the voice is perfectly great I can't thank you enough for yesterday um, I'm thinking as well, I, I was thinking about looking down my list about the clothing and wardrobe thing on FS22, about how um, there weren't enough beards. There just, there just weren't enough beards, <laughs> I think. Hello, Google Pop. Thank you for yesterday. Legend. <laughs> I 
Hey Google Pop. Oh, this is. I'm. I'm so glad it's working. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm just. I'm just being. Just smiling from ear to ear. Um. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to take this back because this needs to be cleaned. I think I've already taken one back. Uh, I'm going to grab a livestock trailer probably. It's so. It's really hard to do. I say it, it's hard. I've got to be so keep careful saying that now. Uh, new Erlen Grap video just dropped, of course it would do since it started streaming. Um, I am get, uh, fingers crossed I am getting an early release copy on Friday. Uh, and it should be a console version. That's the plan. As long as Lysitan doesn't forget me. Hopefully he doesn't. Um, will my logo be in FS22? I don't think so. Hippie farmer option. I mean, not necessarily hipster, but you know, we need more beards. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Hello, Kalamaki, man made chimp. Just trying to keep it seen what I mean. I'm, just, I'm driving all over the place here. got bales stacked up all over the place the cows are doing all right um, I'm not honestly the reason I'm streaming this is because I, I'm at a point on here where I'm not going to get much more done um, I'm going to do as many contracts as I can I'm going to try and get some more done tomorrow and we'll see how we go hello Hydra smock farmer hello buddy miss silly peas beard not enough beards in FS22 see even my beard agrees can't all be wrong, can we? Thank you, Florida man. Looking forward to the new content. So am I. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh dear. First thing I'm looking forward to is you showing us how the new hide workers work. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to be busy. I think as a lot of YouTubers are going to be. There's going to be a lot of content to do and a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah. Um, the ambassador program, um, it says how am I not an ambassador. You have to sign up for it. Um, and I was doing FSL at the time, I was doing my videos, um, obviously I'm a family man too, and I didn't apply for it because I, I didn't know if I'd have enough time to put into whatever it required me to do as well, so I didn't, so. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you, Google Pop. you didn't have to do that. Honestly, that's incredibly kind of you. After your help yesterday, you really didn't need to, but that's very kind of you, thank you. What am I looking forward to most in FS22? Um, in all honesty, the workers thing from yesterday is pretty impressive. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. What I'm most, I, mean, I think production chains, without a doubt, is where I'm kind of fixing my attention more than anything else. Um, have I seen the new mods yet? Oh, mods out today, or FS22 mods. Um, I know there's new mods out today, and the problem is I've got today and tomorrow, and if I do get early access on Friday, I've got to finish off Atting and Part Let's Play, finish off this Let's Play. I'm not sure I'm even going to get onto the mods. So, yeah. My preview, I hopefully, <laughs> the reason I'm doing this as a test today is I'm hoping on Friday to stream a little bit on Friday. Um, that's what I'm hoping to do. Now, when I said about this being behind the scenes stuff, there, there'll be stuff happening that I, I yeah, I'm don't normally see so what I'm gonna do now is hop off there do that zoom in on the tractor wherever I left it which is there do that yeah so I do this stuff off screen <laughs> normally people don't see this stuff thank you Totster Man, it's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I did. I mean, did have a quick look at the the mods. Now, I was. It was mentioned yesterday about me sorting out. Um. Oh, what they called uh, light admins? How do I do that? Make sure I've got the right person. That's the thing, isn't it? Uh, 
That's one done. <laughs> Thank you, Scott Matthews. Wow. I, I, honestly, I can't believe. Thank you so much. It's amazing. White Tiger 89. Seeing behind the curtain, it can ruin the magic. I know, that's why I said this is a kind of behind the scenes. Um, yeah. The production change thing, I think, is really cool. Mole molecular Shadow Fox, hello. Uh, Echo Kid Farmer. Yeah, there is a nice trailer one. Pete Harnessy. Hello, Pete. How are you? Uh, yes, it's working today. And hopefully, Pete, I'm going to sort your horses out in a minute. That's the plan. Bear with me just one second, because I'm... I'm still having a few issues with this, uh, where are we? DJ, you're absolutely right. It's much better having it through OBS because I can mute my mic when I need to, when I have a coffee dip. Um, anyway, more slots to play with. That's going to be amazing. Um, yeah just there's so much going on um, oh man thank you. the messages are amazing I, can't, I just can't keep up with them I can't read them all out so we've got trailers for all three maps now haven't we I think thank you Callum love watching all the way from France that's very kind of you French map coming as well are you looking forward to that, or do you prefer playing another map? I don't know. Um, Carl, the maps at the start of FS22 are going to be Beau Belleron. Oh, I forgot the name of the American one. That's horrendous. Um, and Erlingrat. Why can't I remember it? It will come in the chat. What people have put in there. My mind's gone blank. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Erlingrat's a nice map. Yeah, the Cowpen mod that popped up today said they were going to go big with it. I didn't actually look on it. It's typical, isn't it? The day that I've got so much to do and I'm running out of time, running out of days before the new game comes out, they drop mods and a new map. What are you going to do? Um, nearly 300 watching. That's amazing. And incredible. Hi, Junior. Case IH tractors for the base game. I think we've got a standard selection as far as I can tell. Yeah, the Alpine map is um, Erlengrat. That's the one we're getting. Uh, thank you, David. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some experiment videos. Right, so what do we need to do? I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm doing it again. I'm talking so much, I'm not really paying attention. So what I'm here to do, I'm supposed to be doing all the behind the scenes work. Um, I need a livestock trailer. That one just does cows. I'm going to fall back on the same one I always use, aren't I? I mean, that's kind of obvious. Uh, I need to do horses. Actually, you know what? I'm just two at a time. Oh, you know what? I haven't used one of those in ages. It's got to be Miss Silly P. Green, hasn't it? I mean, duh. Uh, let's lease that. So, what I need to do now is also on the side here is. I need to find the contracts. <laughs> it's here somewhere. I know it is. Um, right, that one. There we go. So. Move that up to that. Uh, let's grab this trailer and let's get these horses. Um, oh man, so much love in the chat. I just, it's awesome. I. Thank you so much. I, I don't know why I don't do this more often. I've been so, you know, this is, like I said, this is behind the scenes, behind the curtain, so to speak. I was talking to DJ yesterday in Gogol Pop and Driver 53, and I'm always, I've been, I've been very nervous about streaming, especially through Elgato, through OBS. I'm not a, I'm not PC au fait. I'm not a PC guy. Um, and I was shown how to do it a while back, and then I, I just kind of, panicked and just didn't do it and every time I kind of thought I'm going to stream I think I built up in my head so much so I thought I can't do it and, you know, I'm not going to do it so I didn't and that's it just kind of that goes on and on Elm Creek thank you Greg <laughs> why couldn't I remember that Elm Creek what way should I go let's go this way I'm going to pick up the horses now I've got a contract to read out I normally do this while I drive and I'm not going to be able to do that at the same time um, so this is 
um, from Pete, and I've been meaning to do this for ages. I've got my uh, big Papa seahorses are in the stable at the moment, but this contract I've been meaning to pick stuff up. Um, old McDonald Farms, can you turn your volume up? Got my phone on. Can everyone hear me okay? I'm just worried about turning the volume up and then and it being too loud for people. I've got the mic out of the way so it's not in, in my face, but I don't want to turn up too loud and then people get kind of assaulted. Let's go up a little bit. Is that any better? I'm trying to. Yeah. It's perfect. Okay, I'll leave it as it is. It might be your, you need to turn your phone up a little bit. Sorry, I don't. I don't want to come across as rude. <laughs> Michigan, that's it. Audio is fresh. Um, what's Italia demo like for slots? High. <laughs> It's high already, um, but the map is, I mean, I'll be honest, when I said about doing top five maps, and it's really hard to choose, and I would really would know where to begin. I think Six Ashes and Italia Demo for me are two of the prettiest, nicest maps. Oakfield Farm's up there, Lone Oak, I mean, there are, there are so many. How would you even get, Gary, how would you even start with that? Um, what map will I probably start in FS22? You know what? I was just thinking about that about an hour ago. Um, thank you for that, Frank. And I, I, I think, and I could be wrong. I think a lot of American YouTubers might go for the Michigan map, but I could be wrong on that. Erlen Grant, I did a little bit of gameplay, but didn't really do a let's play on it. But then, Obelleron is a, it's a new French map. It's new, so. I honestly don't know. I'm not going to know till the day, you know. The actual streaming bit, once it's on, once I'm set up and it's running, now I know it's working. Now I know I can do it, that the sound's fine, you can see me, that everything's working. That pressure's off. I used to teach, that was what I did, you know. And standing in front of a classroom of kids or a room full of adults or and talking is not something I have a problem with. Talking is not an issue. It's just doing it all at the same time. <laughs> That's where it gets a little bit harder. Hello, Hydra. Good morning from Mexico. Cool. Thank you, Angel. Daryl Van Deventer, is that right? I hope I said that right. Swiss Mizzy. And this is the, th the problem is behind the scenes. This is this is all the stuff you don't see when I kind of edit and I chop journeys and stuff. It's because can take a while across a map and people don't always want to see that but I'm behind the scenes and I'm talking at the same time and we're chatting and you know it's, there's a lot going on that's where my other tractor was I've just seen it my Lamborghini's down there with my auto load trailer because I need to move or get rid of all those bales off that build that's the next step thank you Alan from Northern Ireland cool Roll Tides Farming Mike Davidson our giant's going to change the base game music uh, from Alabama, cool. Um, I don't, no, probably. I, you know, each game has had its own, you know, unique sort of style to it. Right. Loran Stoter, is that? Nederland Zegt Hello. I assume that means hello from the Netherlands. Rude. Just rude. I'm allowed to stop, pretty sure I am. Um, Mrs. Silly Peas in the front room working from home. Farm dog, I can hear banging on the door, scrabbling away. Um, yeah, so I need to move those bales, that needs to be done. That field needs to be cultivated. Like I say, I've got a lot of so much to do. Um, for anybody that submitted contracts to Italia Demo, I honestly, honestly don't, yeah, thank you, Smart Farmer. My memory isn't great, you know that. If you've been watching me for a while, you know my memory's not amazing. And um, to the point of being embarrassing sometimes, you know. I'm an old man now. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> Watching with your dog. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. Hello from South Africa. I can't believe Canada. People from everywhere. Daryl is texting whilst driving a farm tractor. You know, I always am amazed when people message me and say they're actually farming watching me whilst they're actually doing a real a real farmer 
I'm doing this from the farm chair. Um, Jeremy Burnett. Cochrane Alberta. Reuben, I am that old. I may look like a ruggedly handsome 21 year old, but I'm certainly not. Certainly not that. Arkansas. Wow. Sunny Algarve. We've got people from everywhere. I'm only about 40. I wish, Nathaniel. Wisconsin, si Singapore, no way, seriously? Jose from Portugal. You're right, there's nothing wrong with being an old fella. Old gets rule, man. North Carolina, who is in North Carolina? I don't know what it's called. Kentucky, Finland. Ipswich, not too far away, Walker. My Hawaiian shirts, I just, you know. Why not? My kids are always like, we're not going out anywhere. I don't have to go out anywhere. I can brighten up my day and brighten up the house just by wearing a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> my head's hidden behind the chat. I can move that. Um, the other thing I was thinking was, of course, is if I move that over slightly, because what I'm aware of and conscious of now, is that better? I don't want to block any of the picture, I don't want to block the menus on the screen, and I don't know quite where all the things are going to be on the menus on FS22, so finding where to put your sort of screen is a little bit tricky, I mean we can do that, but you don't get any of the gameplay, you just get me, wonderful me, um, but that's not going to work is it, so let's go back to that, that works a lot better, I'm so pleased this is working, <laughs> honestly couldn't be happier. Um, Right, I really need to get on. How's it going? It's going great. Adrian Carter from Guernsey. Yeah, Ipswich Tractor Boys. Denmark. Top left works. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of thought top left, but then obviously if I open the help menu to show anything to anyone, mind you, I'm not like to do that now, mate. You know what? Oh, no, don't want to do that. That's why I want to move. Let's put it up there, then. Let's, let's just really just keep keep everyone on their toes. My daughter needs to be a moderator. Has she popped in the chat? I don't think she's been on here, but if she is, I might. Big Daddy in the house! Hey, bud, how are you? Spider Recky was more than ten. Mucking out cattle. See what I mean? These people actually farming. I'm just a Muppet in a Hawaiian shirt. Silly G's in the hoose. Silly E G. Right, let's click on that. Uh, add moderator. I've done the right one. Silly G is now a moderator. If you want to do any moderating, I'm pretty sure Big Daddy did offer his services as well. I don't want to assume, but I'll add some more people in as moderators. Um, all the big guns are coming in now, aren't they? <laughs> we got all the big guns in the house. Oh, man. Uh, well, FS22 have dedicated servers. There's the, there's multiplayer anyway, but Natrado are offering, and I think for the first time, they're offering servers. You can get a, uh, a console server. I have rented one. I don't know how that's going to work, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to do multiplayer, but I have rented a server. And you can have up to, I can't remember how many people it is now. Now, as far as horses go, I need... Two greys, and it will become apparent why. Have we not got a grey? Oh yeah, there we go. One, two. Let's get two greys first. I'm going to pay for these because normally I would do that off screen and you wouldn't see. Um, silly G, I don't... She'll have to answer that when she's going to come into the streams. She's... um. Hi, Zeke. Nimrod. Oh, man, look. Loads of very familiar names. Thank you so much. Um, done it again. <laughs> Smartphone was right. Started talking. Got sidetracked. Done. Um, I'm going to go this way around because I don't like to get in trouble. Um, I don't like to get fines from people, which is what they often do. Help us see is finished with his task. And my tractor is hanging on the cliff. Yeah, I mean that's kind of normal, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, Gogopop's got some chores to do. I, I kind of 
Yeah, I haven't been doing one. <laughs> I haven't been doing one. <laughs> DJ's a moderator. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Is it really a good idea? Of course it is. Of course it is. He's always got my back. He's always had my back. Hello, Richard Dower. Erlen Grant is a beautiful map, and I think what they've done to it in the upgrade, wow. Um, hello, David from Ohio. I, I watch a few YouTubers, farm, uh, real farmers from Ohio, and I always, when my wife says, oh, where are they? So I always say Ohio, just for a while. I'm not, don't mean to be disrespectful, but I saw that and straight away thought, oh, it's Ohio. It's, it's Ohio. Um, <laughs> Thanks for that, Google. <laughs> I'm a farm sim hero. You know what? I was kind of. Hello, Bruce is gaming. I was. Um, what was I doing? I've been watching Band of Brothers. I do my kind of. I haven't done it annually, but I do it every now and again. And. I always get very emotional watching it. I, I find it so awe inspiring and incredible because it's real, because it's real people, because, you know. And there's a podcast that popped up on YouTube recently where they're doing a podcast after, after every episode airs because HBO air it two or three times a, a year now, at different times of the year. So every, as every episode was being aired, they were doing a podcast and they were interviewing like Tom Hanks, Dale Dye, you know, the writers, the different actors and stuff like that. And some of the behind the scenes stuff and things, it's, oh man, honestly, it's amazing. I still find it incredible. And there was an amazing story they were talking about, um, where they were saying about Bill Garnier, the actual guy, came to set to visit, and they were staying up late and they were drinking, and you know, a couple of cars said they need to go to bed because they were up early, and he said he fought in the forest at Bastogne with only two hours sleep. And when you put it in perspective like that, you stop and think, yeah, you know, when I do, I do, when people say, oh, you're such a hero, I'm, I'm not. Just a, I'm just a guy. <laughs> just a guy. Any real life equipment tools coming up? It all depends very heavily on all the lockdown stuff because I had two set up to go and then we went into lockdown, the first massive one. Then we kind of bounced out and in and out and in, you know. Um, I've got a couple that I can line up. Um, possibly a couple more that I've been offered. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I would like to think so. Thank you, Keely21. Thank you very much. Traffic doesn't tend to stop on here either, which is great. Um, what I'm, I think, what I'm amazed by more than anything is the amount of people that say I inspired them to start their own channels. And that is probably for me the bigger than I don't know any of the other things I don't know UTP yes the chat is working no robot we're doing all right I think we're doing all right now I'm probably only going to be streaming for what time is it now one thirty maybe a couple of hours maybe up to about three o'clock I don't know um, I will be playing it early hopefully as that's the plan I honestly, I'm, I've been trying so hard to get CLEG to come back into it. Uh, she seems very reluctant. Hang on. Please tell me she's going to come to me. Am I in screen? Uh, in screen? Yeah, I am. You can just see you. Hello, everyone. There we go. <laughs> CLEG in the hoose. This is weird seeing you from the other side. Why have you. You should have some Mr. P merch on, shouldn't you? Have you got the t shirt? No, you don't have to. I'm joking. You don't. <laughs> Thank you, Air Biogia. I make console FS look good. Do we? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Siri G just she's gonna go <laughs> she's gonna go and push the merch. <laughs> you know what I can do that too. Look, let's just do this a second. This is all oh, this is amazing. I'm just honestly blown away. Let's do that. Have a tea with me, Mr. Sealy. But I've got tea in it. No, I've got water in it. But you know, I've got a pint glass coming as well. Where, you can have a beer with me, Mr. Sealy. Oh, there you go. Look, you're in it. you can we can see better. Other way. Step forwards. There we go, Mr. P. Merch. 
Go rocking get some. the t-shirt. Christmas is coming up, everyone. Christmas is coming up. Oh, this is a shameless plug. <laughs> Shamelessly plugging my own merchandise. That's terrible. Um, season pass, I'm hoping. It, yeah, I'll, I'll get on the day of release thing. Hello, Peter. Hello, Justin. Nice to see you. No Miss Silly P Hawaiian shirts. No, they didn't do a Hawaiian shirt on, on Teespring, I don't think. That would be quite cool if they did. Um, you can have coffee. I've got coffee in this one. I, I do have... I've got my big fella mug. I'll have a bit of each. I've still got a tickle in my throat, so... Thank you to... Uh, uh, that, that's all I want to say. Thank you to everybody who has bought any merch so far. Honestly, I'm, I've been, again, without blown away. People sending me pictures and messages and things and saying, look, I've got this and, you know, I've got your mug and I've got this. Oh, it's just, honestly, it's amazing. I've got some new stickers I've changed... Um, <laughs> Farm Dog needs to come in rocking the hat. That would be quite cool. Um, yeah, I'm plugging away. It depends because it has to be. If I'm going to plug it away, it has to be that way. Uh, like that. It has to be Farm Dog approved. Uh, I've got some more of those coming actually, but they're in different sort of sizes. Um, that throat tickle. Honestly, since I had um, when we went away on holiday, well, holiday went up to the lakes for a few days. And I got a chest infection. Mrs. Silly P got it the week after. We have both been like this now for six weeks. She went to see the doctor, he's given her more antibiotics, they said it's very strange, you know. But it's just there, all the time. And every time I start talking, I start coughing. What are you gonna do? Uh, right, so I I'm you know, I said I'm gonna get on here, I'm gonna get all my jobs done, and I'm not gonna get anything done, am I? <laughs> Is Silly EG going to have merch? If she gets back on her channel and does more on her channel and puts up more content, which I keep telling her to do. And the thing is, it's not just Farming Simulator. I'm not going to lie to you. On Call of Duty, she is terrifyingly good. Fortnite she used to play quite a lot. Very good on that. It seems to be anything she plays, she's very good. Um, but she just won't. She's a young woman now. And I think she finds things sometimes a bit embarrassing. She, yeah, I don't know. Um... What do I think about having a repair system in FS22, like in Gold Rush, replacing hoses, etc.? I think that would be good. I said that a while ago about repair system, and I said it should be random. Every now and again, you just get a breakdown. Thank you, Farming STE. Um, old man Jeb sounds quite hard to hear me. Sorry, I think everyone else has been saying it's been okay. Apart from when I cough and I have to mute one. Um, Magnum PI, the later years, mm, yeah, very later years, when he found a big pie stash. Um, <laughs> are you still exclusive console or PC? I'm still console. I don't do the PC stuff. There are a lot of guys doing PC stuff, and they do it incredibly well, like DJ, and when the, the list goes on and on. Um, I, I just, I would be, I would be a small fish in a very big pond then. You know, at the moment I feel like I can kind of hold my own. I don't know. <laughs> that might help. I think I am. Um, she, I think she's on the chat. She's on the comments, Carl. Um, I, I know people message her all the time and say that she, you know, I think even Big Papa C offered to buy her a Chinese every week if she carried on making videos. And she, she just didn't. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think ra random breakdowns would be... Um, would be cool. I am staying console. I, that is my plan. I'm going to stay console, and that's why I was really pleased that I got kind of early access. I, I should be getting early access on console. Right. Let's put these two in, but then I'm going to need to rename them. And then let's go back and get the next one. Right. I'm going to read this contract out because I've been reading the chat and I've been putting it off. Um, good morning from Tomorrowland. Thank you, Jim. Um, yeah, I don't know how gears are going to work on console. I'm not quite sure. The other thing I'm really desperate to check when, it, when, I, when I get it is that my side panel still works. I'm so worried that my side panel is going to stop working. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. Am I releasing any more videos today? My plan today is to get this stream finished, finish my Attingham Park video on that Let's Play. Uh, 
I'll try and get some more done because I need to prep for tomorrow and that's what we're on Thursday then Friday potentially I could get the, I should could get it early um, so we don't know anyway this contract let me do the contract um, hello Miss Sidney P I'm an ex-corporal from the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards uh, we were in older days the Scots Greys from the Battle of Waterloo this is why we have grey horses and a black drum horse I was master mascot in charge of our drum horse and stables manager. In our prime, we had drum horse Ramillies. In his time, the largest horse in the British Army at 19.2 hands, six greys and 10 polo ponies. Now this is true. This is Pete's contract and Pete was in the Scots Dragoon Guards and he was um, the master mascot and stables manager. He sent me pictures and it's amazing. Um, since I left the army, I'm in Chillington where I rehome ex army horses and polo ponies. I've had a terrible year, very long cold winter and spring, and a very wet summer. I'm afraid my harvest will fail. To that end, I will require 100,000 litres of oats, 100 bales of straw, and 250 bales of hay. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get onto that, but um, as my harvest is failing, I cannot pay in money, but I do have some older machinery I'll be willing to trade. Uh, I have a four wheel drive Massive Ferguson, and it goes on a few bit, different bits and bobs. Then it says, uh, P.S. The two greys I would be re willing to relocate would be Balthazar and Jubilee, both named after regimental, regimental battle honours. And the third horse is, and I wrote it down, is uh, Talavera. And Talavera, I think, might be the black. I'll try to see if I can find a dark horse. Um, so we should have three of those. So what I've got to do now is go on to every time. Three years, still getting that menu wrong. Can't believe it. Farm dog is barking in the background. Yes, he's in the front room, Mrs. P. Um, oh, sorry. Turn off my engine while I'm chatting. <laughs> I could do that. I, I, don't, I don't ever think about it, really. Um, so, horses. Uh, Chowder, Penelope, Frank, and Beans. They're all... Um, I did it again, didn't I? I didn't hit confirm. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. I'm a professional people, I'm a professional, I do this for a living, remember? I honestly, horrendous, um, got to get these names right, so we, we need uh, Balthazar, done. And then that one, rename, and that one's going to be Jubilee. <sighs> Watch man type <laughs> life. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, that's Balthazar and Jubilee added in, Pete. So we're going to sort this. Sound could be slightly louder. I, I'm I probably something as well. I'm turning away from the mic sometimes as well. That doesn't help. Let's bring that a bit bit closer, um, and then I'll up that a little bit too. Hopefully that's all right. I keep going louder and quieter as I talk. Anyway, um, life's entertainment. Thank you for the thank. Thank you for liking the content. Uh, what time am I going to release my early access video? Well, that's the thing, Lee. On Friday, I should be getting early access, and I should. Right, they're both in. I'm just going to get another one. Now that should be 9 a.m., and there's the embargo kind of lifts then. But then, hello from Nova Scotia, New Scotland. Um, don't know why I said it like that. And then obviously I need to have a look at it. I was going to initially just, um, I just did, yeah, I've just done the audio filter on OBS. I've just gone up a little bit. Um, yeah, so I was thinking yesterday, and I was thinking about doing it live, about streaming literally from when I turn it on, settings and going through and just literally being that excited, bouncing around, trying different things out. If people are in the chat, people can ask me to look at certain things and I can check certain things out. That was my first thought. Then I thought, do I need to spend a bit of time looking through the game, familiarising myself with it a little bit? Because I know when I did videos when FS19 came out, and I got a lot of grief when I did my first few videos, when, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, it's this, it's that, you should be doing this way, you should be doing that way. The thing is, when a new game comes out, you're never quite sure, nobody is. Although there's always experts, you're always going to get experts. You can't do anything about that. Um, as far as daily videos, 
think with streaming as well, that kind of that's a daily video. That's that's one of your five a day. Mm -hmm. Although I don't do five a day. I have had some days when I've done a, a let's play, I've done a map tour, I've done mod reviews, and you know, if it's a fact sheet Friday as well, all of a sudden, you know. Um, thank you, Lawrence. Just want to say thank you for awesome content. You continue to bring to the community. Have a good stream. Thank you for being on the stream, Lawrence. I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know what, Google Pop, you're right. When the new game comes out, there's a lot of assumptions made. And it's very easy with hindsight to watch a video and say, oh, well, I knew that was going to be like that. We, we can't necessarily know anything for definite. We can go onto the game thinking if they've left a lot of stuff the same, um, then yeah, some things will be the same. A lot of stuff will have changed. There'll be menus that will be different. There'll be controls that will be different. But you're always yeah, there will always be people that will say, well, I knew it would be that. Well, that, that's fantastic. But, you know, what can you do? You can't do a lot about that. FS22 mobile toolbox. Well, that was the thing, I'm sure. And that's why I'm misremembering this. On FS17, we had a mobile toolbox, didn't we? Or, or am I... I'm sure we did, didn't we? There's always going to be FS22 experts. There's always going to be FS experts. There's always going to be professionals. It is the way of the world. But it doesn't matter. It's called armchair experts. Absolutely. Or farm chair experts. As I like to refer to myself. <laughs> um, you can stream twice when you do your preview. I could do. The new AI stuff is incredible. Yes, we did. I thought we did, Big Daddy. Um, you know, and that's the problem, you know, I've been doing this now, how long have we been doing it? Six years? Seven? Six? Seven, I don't know. Something like that. But it's been a while. Um, three different iterations of the game that I've been part of. Um, and I, I just, my memory, I just, I get to the point and think, am I misremembering between games? Am I misremembering completely? Did we have one? Did You know, I do it with a lot of stuff. I thought I'd go a completely different way back to get the third horse. Why not? Um... Congratulations, Randall. Thank you, Zach. I didn't just send you a super chat. Really appreciate everything you do for the console community. Thank you, honestly. Wow. For PC, there's a mobile toolbox. I, yeah, that's nearly 400 watching. Holy moly. Oh, dear. How long has this been live for? What time is it now? About 50 minutes, I think, I've been going. I started just before 1. What do I think of FS22 so far? I think it is going to be astoundingly good. I, I, I honestly, you know, there's a lot of people out there still saying, oh, it doesn't look much different to FS22. Cobblers, absolute rubbish. It, it couldn't be, you know, yes, it's a farming game, but the things they've introduced. Now, if you think about, as we went through FS19, any one of the things they've said are going to be new for 22, um... If they'd have bought that out as a mod, everyone would have been like, this is incredible, you know? It's a game changer, you know? And they've got multiple ones of those for FS22 coming out. There's all sorts of stuff. The ability to change your wardrobe, to go into your farmhouse and change you. I mean, that in itself, that's a big thing. How do you from Iowa? Thank you. Smash that like button, my dudes, as Silly G would say. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get as many likes as we can. Now, something I thought about doing. Um, Self-publishing has made a big difference. Absolutely. Um, what I thought about doing, I know um, VF does this quite a lot. And hello, John. Hello, Lee. Hello, Chris. Uh, we need a Miss CDP character. Giants, unfortunately, don't like. A few people made modded things with DJ's logo and my logo. I think a few other people as well, VFs maybe. And they, they don't like that so much. I don't, I'm not so, quite sure why. I just don't. They get a bit funny about it. So, anyway, Pete, right, your horses are in. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get onto all the rest of the stuff. I will try. Um, the game didn't change much with only be getting a DLC update. Yeah, I know, and that's the thing, isn't it? Um, you know, 
Do I know glitches or problems with the game? Not yet. I don't know of any glitches or problems. I know somebody who does. <laughs> you know who you are. But I can't. I can't say, and I can't really talk about it. I, there are a few little things here and there that need to be sorted out. So I'm thinking for. It might just have to be. Is seal brown going to be dark enough? I don't know if that's good enough. Um, it depends if Pete's still watching. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you so much. Um, is that all right, Pete, for Talavera? Or does it need to be... Uh... Hi, AK, in the hay. Am I excited for FS22? Does the Pope wear a pointy hat? Absolutely, I am. Can't wait. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not the Giants don't like us. They just don't, yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know, you can't promote one YouTube or two or three over however many hundred people are putting up content. It just, it's not right, is it? It wouldn't be fair. Um, coffee at Chocolate Donut and Miss Silly P Live. This is a great start to the day. Where's my chocolate donut? What? Yeah, should I do that? Should I do the black horse? Would that be better? I think I've already got a black horse, but you know what? We'll do it. And I've confirmed it this time, so I can't get it wrong. Um, current Pope doesn't. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? There's always one that spoils it for everyone else. <laughs> Hello from South Africa. Hi, Griffith. Hi, Joshua. Stephen Zank. Uh, we don't know anything about the changes to modding. Looking forward to that. Um, I know. You've got one. Thank you, Daryl. It's very kind of you having one there. Um, it's nice to watch while at work. Yeah, don't get in trouble, will you? It's too, if you're supposed to be at work, I don't want anyone to get in trouble. While, you know, I know once before I did a stream and I had a guy message saying he was in school, in the classroom. Hey, Farmer Klein. Hey, buddy, how are you? I am live, I know. The world, you know the world's gone mad when Mr. CDP is live. New Brunswick, Craig, hello. How about putting all the YouTubers logo as a mod? I, I, I think there are a lot. I don't think you'll be able to do that. I mean, I suppose maybe you could. But then what happens when new YouTubers start their channels? I don't know. East Coast USA. East Coast baby. Again, don't know why I did that. So these are all the things I do off camera. The silly voices, the stupid comments, all the stuff that I kind of edit out. Um, work, what? Neil B. Hello, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm having a really weird time with this because my camera is kind of offset with a light on, but I'm kind of central, and every time I look up, I keep thinking I have to look over, but I, I'm not sure. I don't know where I'm looking. <sighs> you can still listen to it, to it like a podcast. You can do, I suppose. I was asked a while back about doing a podcast, and would I consider it? Um, oh, shots fired, Zach. Shots fired. Do you ever work a Coco Pop? Ooh. Is that Durak? Durak Blaze? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I really am. Uh, Roy? Hello, Roy! Oh, you remind... Oh, I did... I did reply. I replied in the video. I said about you were coming out to, to check on stuff. I'm getting so annoyed with people honking their horns in my direction. Yeah. <laughs> Google Pop does work as my... I, it feels like he works as my aide. I, I feel terrible. You know, the guys that have helped me... You know, like I said, I'm not a PC guy, and I'm, very, I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm a technophobe. I will learn how to use stuff, and I'll, and I'll do my best, you know, and, and fiddle around with things. And, and, you know, or I'll watch videos, and I'll learn... And, my problem is, when I get it in my head, and I was like this when I was teaching, I would set my lessons up, I'd have my lesson plan ready, I'd have all my resources ready, um, and I had it in my head how a lesson was going to go. I was pretty good at changing on the fly if you needed to. With things that I'm not sure about, if things go wrong, it's reacting quick enough to keep it... You know, I was saying to DJ and, and Driver and Google Pop yesterday that I want it always to be professional, to look really good, but then watching other YouTubers, not just farm sim ones, but other YouTubers when they're streaming, it doesn't always go perfectly. It's not always necessarily about what you're doing in the game. 
I think it's about that interaction and, you know, so it doesn't always have to be perfect. And I think in my head, I thought it's got to be perfect all the time, you know. I've come a long way. You know what? I honestly don't know what to say. Um, from when I started, from that first day when I was stacking bales on Bjornholm on FS15, and I stacked them really neatly and thought, I'm going to record that. So now, heading towards 100,000 subscribers, um, being part of the Giants partner program, having been to Erl Erlangen and visiting Giants, doing fun FSL, commentating, um, making the videos I've made, meeting all these amazing people in the community. You know, all these people that, like yesterday, Google, Google Pop and Driver 53, and all the people that messaged me to help me because the channel, because the stream was going horribly wrong yesterday. Um, I can't thank them enough and seeing their faces in person you know it's all these people I know and I would consider in you know friends that I talk to and have talked to since my channel started but I've never met and I think that's that for me is the biggest part of all of this that makes it so incredible oh dear um. I honestly, for all those people that have been subbed for a long time, and all the new people that have subbed, I, I can't thank you all enough. I, you know, I watch a lot of YouTubers, and I know quite a few YouTubers. I know a, quite a few YouTubers, not FS ones, in real life. Some of them can be incredibly arrogant and kind, kind of rude towards subscribers and that whole kind of thing. That baffles me. I wouldn't be where I am without everybody that watches and comments and, you know, all of it's just incredible. Yeah, I honestly think there are a few bad apples. You always get them everywhere, but I think the FS community is amazing. You know, I think it's one of those things where, um, where Giants kind of did their thing. They set up their community hub and they've got their community coordinators and, you know, you've, you've got Lysatan, you've got Chaki, you've got Kermit, or Kermit, Kerminator doing an amazing job but it's that kind of you let it out into the world and it becomes this beast of its own you know it kind of takes on a whole new thing yeah I suppose yeah as the sun comes up across the USA <laughs> people are waking up to Mr. Silly P that sounds wrong people yeah, you know what I mean you know what I mean um, how long am I going to be streaming for Hydra um, probably till about three o'clock um, I did let all of my children know and Mrs. CDP is fully aware and, and I'm streaming and I did say to him I don't mind people walking across in the background and I don't mind you know as long as you know the noise isn't too bad my children have a, a tendency to sing as they go around the house or shout and yell at each other um, but my one of my twins finishes work at lunchtime on a Wednesday and she's got a driving lesson so she wasn't going to be back till three so I thought it made sense to kind of try and fit it in between there um, do a reaction to Erlengrap trailer I don't really. I'm delivering the horses. I'm trying. I'm trying to talk and do everything at the same time. I know it's frustrating. <laughs> I've got cultivating to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I've got to get to the right side. Now you get me in a flap. See? You get me in a flap. <laughs> don't like being in a flap. Deliver. Confirm. Right. <laughs> don't even can't move. Can't cope. Uh, rename. Uh, this is Talavera. I hope that's right. No, did it again. Getting flustered. <laughs> Talavera. Done. You'll be glad to know the horses are sorted. Multitasking. <laughs> hey, Driver 53 Gaming, how are you, buddy? Thank you for yesterday, mate. Marcia. Oregon trees. Hey, bud. So many familiar uh, say faces. You know what I mean? Names. Um, if you're not on my if you're not on my Discord yet, um, go Google Pop M N I H and Jaden that set up my Discord for me. I started talking about that earlier, didn't I? And got sidetracked. Um, those guys. Well, if you're not on the Discord server, there should be links to merch. Same links in the description. So, in the description for the video, there should be links to that Discord. There should be. Should be 
<laughs> Western Pennsylvania. Nice. I'm going. Going. I'm going. <laughs> oh dear. Backseat drivers. They won't get out. They're well behaved. <laughs> Do not turn your own fun playing games into an obligation for the audience. You're the one that just told me to go and close the gate. <laughs> but thank you for that. Thank you for being on here. Nate from Pennsylvania. Is that A.A. Dylan? Stephen? What do you have to do in order to clean the horse stable? Um, I don't think I've cleaned that horse stable out yet. Yeah, I feel like a real... YouTuber now. I, I feel like I've got my channel. I've been YouTubing for a while. <laughs> a long time. Then I got merch. Now I'm streaming. Doing it proper. I feel like one of the cool kids. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. That's incredibly kind of you. I broke rule one of the countryside, I know. Country code, always close gates behind you. Sorry. Thanks, Amorismo. Take care. See, so our driver's saying the volume's low as well. Is it because I keep talking quietly? I have no idea why I brought this trailer back with me. Shouldn't have done. Right, let's drop that off. Uh, next thing I was going to do was take the super duper Cambridge roller fertilizer cultivator how many subscribers do I have I think I'm at 80,500 I think Yeah, if animals ran away and where you didn't close the gates, that would be a game changer. That would be astoundingly scary as well. Um, I don't have a PO box, Brian. Um, am, I, am I 86? Am I? I didn't know that. <laughs> I should check more often, shouldn't I? I I'm not, not that like I'm being blasé about it, but I think, like, I was talking to DJ, and DJ said it's not about numbers. You know, I know I've got in my head, I'm set, I want to get to 100,000. That's my only goal. I want to have that plaque on the wall. You know, it's almost that kind of, and this is going to sound really cheesy, but when I'm older, when my kids have got kids, when I'm a, when I'm a granddad, I want to be called Pops. I, want, I don't want to be granddad, grandpa, I want to be Pops. Um, I, I, when they ask me what I do or what I've done or what did grandpa do or Pops, I want to be able to say, look, I did that. Look what I achieved. You know, my videos will always be there, but it's that kind of thing of, a, you know, Ben the farm sim guy, thank you. What did Oregon trees put that was funny? I missed that. <laughs> Sorry. I I hope I do, Frank. It's that kind of thing. FS19 when that released, I got a big bump in subscribers because people are looking for how-to guide videos, that kind of thing. And I always try and put out my videos so it's straightforward and easy kind of layman's terms for, for getting things done um, and then when fs19 was free on playstation store i got a huge bump then because people that wouldn't normally buy the game got it free and did the same thing you know codus honestly we all started somewhere you know we all started at a point and said um I've only got five subscribers. I think I had my first 10 subscribers were all family members and I didn't get anywhere. I, I just didn't make any headway for ages. And then I got a couple. Sanders fan was one of my first ever. I don't know if Sanders fan is still about. I don't know if he still watches my videos. Sanders fan was my first non-family member subscriber. And I think I was going six months, just over six months. I hit 100 subscribers 
just before Christmas. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right, DJ. I know, it's, it's that kind of, it's, a, it's an arbitrary thing, isn't it? You kind of set it up as a target in your head of saying, I want to achieve that. And once I've got it, it will probably just hang on the wall and every now and again I'll glance at it. It's about the day-to-day, -day. it's about the people. Everyone like this in the chat. You know, and that's what makes it important. That's what, it's those comments, those messages, those, when people say, you've helped me through a difficult time, you know, I, I don't know if I told the story before, but I had a guy a while back who was serving in the United States Marine Corps and he was in Afghanistan. And he messaged me to say that my videos got him through his tour in Afghanistan. That, that, that boggled my mind. That was that moment where you stop and you think, I honestly just, I couldn't believe that me just doing what I was doing made that much of a difference. And I've had so many messages like that since. You know, lovely family with an autistic son um, who said that, you know, he watches my videos and the only time in the day that he settles down, like properly settles down, was when he heard my voice on it. And I, th I stopped and thought, that's crazy, you know? I, I just. But it is what it is, you know, and, and that's what's important. That's what makes a difference. That's what makes you stop and think, doesn't matter if I get dislikes on a video, it doesn't matter if people don't like who I am, they're in a minority, I guess. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I will continue to do this as long as I can do it. You know, if people are watching, I'll carry on making videos, I'm just going to keep going. Thank you, Jackson. John Luke Frank. You're welcome. It's very kind to say thank you. You've got to thank me. <laughs> I'm just here. What did I say? David, my young son was born on the 23rd of March last year, day one of the British lockdown. Your videos got me and him through many sleepless nights. Thank you. So what you're saying is I put you to sleep. <laughs> I'm joking. In all honesty, um, I, I said about being called Pops rather than Granddad or Grandpa. My dad was a granddad. My wife's dad was a grandpa. Um, my son has always called me Pops. He always calls me Pops. Um, or Popsicles, they used to call me for, you know. And that kind of stuck, and I thought that I would like that, you know. I'm not averse to being a grandfather. I don't I'd want to be a grandfather just yet, but I think being called Pops would be amazing. I, I just find this little thing. Silly thing, isn't it? I do smock father. I know there's quite a few things I do that wind people up and irritate people. Um, when I started out on here, I didn't have a lot of money, and this I used thinking I would just use it to cultivate, and it gave me a fertilizing state as well, and I just kind of stuck with it, really. And it also helped with, hang on just one second. Um, it also helped with the fact that, because I had a lot of contracts that were um, organic, I couldn't use fertilizers and herbicides and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what? If I can get fertilizer to start using this, why not? Why not indeed? I'm going to do one round, because obviously I don't want to keep doing the same job over and over again. But I have got a lot to do on here. I'll do a bit more on this. If I can get to a point where I can hire a worker, then I've got to worry. Um, when I watched you do the bail stacking work this one. Thank you, Big Al 007. That's incredibly kind of you. Um, I instantly subbed and been watching ever since. Thank you. What I loved doing, and I still to this day, was just for me, one of the highlights was when uh, Mrs. Silly P paid for, uh, like, got me a farm tra tractor driving experience. I know for you guys that do it for a living, <laughs> you know, for you it's perfectly normal and every day. If you're a farm sim geek, nerd, tractor nerd like I am, that chance to go and actually sit in, drive an actual tractor was incredible. I, I just loved every minute of that. 
um, and I got to do barrel stacking in a little JCB. I think I put the videos up a bit a while back on my vlogs. That I could have done all day long. I just loved it. You know, it's weird, isn't it? Like I've always said, doing a lot of jobs on here. Um, I, I can do mind numbing. I can do jobs that that can get quite boring and quite laborious and. I'll put on a bit of music. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll just get on with it. And it does that doesn't bother me. So you know, when I did the bell stack, and you said, you know, they've done a really good job and that kind of thing. Joel maybe would employ you to come and do it. I <laughs> said so straight away, I would do it in a heartbeat. I wouldn't bother me. I would stack hundreds of them. Thank you, Archie Ives. Yeah, for people that get to grow up driving tractors, I mean, that's... Oh, I can only imagine how cool that is. Hi, Rabbit Rob. Bumpkin, sorry, there's loads of names I haven't said. Tiny426, hey, Tiny. Virtual Farm Girl. Watch on your lunch break. Thank you very much for taking the time. Don't want to take up your lunch break. If you're, you know, don't get much, much of a break. Watch me. Uh, I look different to what you thought. <laughs> I've done a few vlog videos. I've done a few videos recently where I've had my face on them. And um, I know a lot of people have always said that. <laughs> look like a strange kind of biker. Sort of, uh, um, Sid 701D9, The Sims Channel. Hello, Kevin Gillespie, hello. Uh, right. I've done one round. I've got more to do. Like I said, I've got so many jobs I've got to do off camera. I, I don't, honestly don't know how I'm going to fit all these in. Um, Thomas collects tractors and works on them. Wow. Is it Gillespie? Cheers from Antwerp in Belgium. Cool. So I'm just checking the chat. Farmer Extreme, Farmer Envoy Extreme. Hello, bud. How are you? You might have been in the chat already. Granddad Gamer. Steven, it's you're just up the road. You're just up the road from me. Cool. I do hope we get a beard. Pipe dreaming. Oh, no, meetings. Thanks for popping in. Enjoy your meeting. Right, what I'm going to do now side panel, operating position. I know not a little bit don't like me doing this, but. That's what I said, behind the scenes, off camera. I do that kind of semi-manual bail stacking where I have the auto load on, but then manually stack and it kind of auto loads. You know, I do a bit of both sometimes. Depends how you want to go about it. Um, thank you, Drac. <laughs> it was great waking up to Miss Silly P. Most people would be horrified. Um, thank you. Have a good day at work, mate. Take care. Thank you for being in here and watching. Thank you, Graham. That's incredibly kind of you. Sticks East 82. Hello. Legend. Thank you very much. I has beard. Thank you. For the 25 HRKs. How's it going? It's going great. Thank you. I has beard. Love that. <laughs> Harlow? No, you're not far from me either. 24 meter cultivator for the win, absolutely, but I've only got small-ish tractors. 440 in the chat, is it really? I've, I've moved the whole chat thing over so I can see the chat on one side of the screen. I didn't know how many people. Cheers from Mexico, thank you Lizard, wow. Thank you, JP Boland. Wow. Um, it's true you do help. I lost my mum last year to cancer when doing nighttime care for I would watch you. Silly G and other YouTubers begin to have deep. They lifted my spirit, so thank you. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that, JP. Um, but I'm glad in some way it helped. I, I really am, honestly. Wow. Thank you, Tiny. 
been binge watched that in it. Last one today. I should get that finished and that should be up today. Croatia. Wow, man, that's done good. Um, Elton John was actually, yeah, just up the road. He was born in Pinner. Do you want an interesting story about Elton John? You probably don't, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, yeah, was was born in Pinner, which is literally just, just up the road. Um, was chairman, is still chairman of Watford Football Club. But, thank you, Graham. Thank you so much. Um, my wife, Mrs. Silly P, her mum was born in Pinner. And before he became Elton John, she used to play with him in the street. She knew him. She played with Elton John in the street. I mean, it's bonkers, isn't it? It's a weird world. Um, next time I'm able to travel outside the country, come to the United States and tour the farm. You know what? Myself and Mrs. Silly P um, have been talking about this for a while and we want to do like a big trip, you know? And we said about doing the US. So many people have said about coming to the US and we could stay with them and we could travel across the US and people said they'd show me their farm and they'd show me farm equipment and you know farming in their area. And I said, I would love to do that. I would love to travel across the US and just meet people, you know? I think that would be incredible. Well, need to get rid of these, so we'll do that. And that. Boom, first lot done. I need to get rid of them. Now I've got the interesting bit that I often do off camera as well, I'm trying to get rid of this. Oh, honestly, DJ, I would love it. A lot of you guys just to meet up and have a chat. Have a chat, have a beer, have a barbecue. You know, just, I think it would be incredible. United Nations Space Command. <laughs> Silly G, uh, giving up on YouTube is a difficult one. Um, not exactly. Not exactly. Um, we haven't talked much about FS22. I suppose we have talked a bit about FS22. We talked about a few different things. Um, what what out there? What is it you're looking forward to? If you're in the chat now, what one thing stands out to you as the thing you can't wait for most? That's you know. Indeed. <laughs> oh no. Um. See, that's the stuff. That's the stuff that would be left out. That's the stuff that would be edited out, and you wouldn't ever see it. Oh no! I can't believe we just did that. Come on. Uh, um. Yeah, AI workers, man. Thank you, Scorpion Taz. There was another one. Sorry, I just missed it. Driver fifty three, man. You don't have to do that. Honestly, you helped me out so much yesterday. You didn't have to do that. Crush counter. Yeah, D. <laughs> oh, man, man. How embarrassing. I'm better. I'm not better than that. You, If any of you have watched enough of my videos, you'll know how many times I've pulled out in front of traffic and things, uh, things like that. Thank you, Rabid Rob. Yeah, as far as Let's Plays go, like I say, this one, I'm doing this stream now, and I'm going to do a few more contracts, hopefully tomorrow on here, to get some tied up and finished. Attingham Park should be finished off today, and that will be it for Let's Plays on FS19. Um, that's kind of the plan. At least I think it's the plan. <laughs> Improved weight mechanics. You know what? I think you're going to be in luck there. Go. <laughs> Starting a fund to help fix my tractor. Yeah, that'd be. Okay. Um, yeah, in talking to DJ, um, I think um, weight, because a lot of the fact sheets have been telling you the weights of everything all the equipment, all the machinery, all the tractors weight is going to play a very important part in FS22. Thank you, Mark. Having a good, I'm having a good time. You know what? I sat here, when I was setting this up, Mrs. Silly P came through and said, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, you want one? But yeah, absolutely. I said, I'm really nervous, I'm really worried about, you know, 
And now, I don't know, why, why have I not done this more? Thank you, Carl Bay. Still the best driver on farms, so I don't think so. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, um, yeah, Jeremy, I mean, as far as releases go, I think, I can't think of a game recently, maybe there are some, that have released without any hitches. I mean, it happens. The Adventures of Gold. Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. Obviously, much appreciated. Massive. Um, thank you, Pizza Club. And lots of people getting up and watching and then going to work. I, I, obviously, it's very early we are. Arctic 66 Farmer. Hello. 4B Gaming. It's difficult to edit and watch. <laughs> I can imagine. How's the coughing? I keep muting my mic every time I need to cough. Yeah, no, that's an interesting one. You say that, um, Echo Kid. If you knocked over a trailer and the grain spilled, I mean, that would be... I mean, that's an, a, another level of immersion, isn't it? I think Seasons is going to be a big thing. I think because we've got Seasons, we've had Seasons, got Seasons already. I think the attitude has been a bit kind of again a bit blasé to oh yeah seasons we've got it already but I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a big thing hey Jay watching is enough mate honestly don't I don't want anyone to feel they have to donate or should donate or do super chats and those kind of things no you know if you want to great but don't ever put yourself in a tight spot thank you Lee just be saying that thank you Lee I'm looking forward to my stuff on Friday. I can't wait. Honestly, I'm absolutely buzzing. Yeah, please don't leave yourself in a tricky spot. You know, I know what it's like. You know, everyone has months where things go wrong. You know, the last month, I haven't really, I haven't really spoken about it, have I? I said a while back, I hadn't done a couple of videos, and I had some guys coming to do some roofing. Man, did I get stitched up. Um, we paid a lot of money to get a load of work done, and they didn't do the work they were supposed to. Uh, we had another set of guys come out and do some work on the front of the house who then said they would fix the work the other guys had done oh man we were into it for a lot of money um so yeah you get those months and and you know it's hard i, I get it absolutely what am i planning on doing first on friday i could be facetious now so i'm gonna get out of bed brush my teeth now um I still put that open. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to... I might stream and I might just, for a little while, maybe a couple of hours, maybe two or three hours, just stream that kind of initial wow and go through all the menus and look at all the stuff. Then it'll be a case of maybe the map tours. I might do map tours. I did Earl and Grat on the original version, but I might do map tours on Elm Creek, Creek and Obeleron. Uh I don't know looking forward to breaking it <laughs> um, I'm on Italia demo for anyone that's not sure it should have been on the, the thumbnail unless I got the thumbnail thing wrong yeah exploring I think that's I don't know I think it's that thing of just spending hours just checking everything and that excitement and but I think the problem is when you you're a content creator um, there's that constant thing of well if I'm doing this I, I should be making a video on this I should be showing this so hello card bond 007 how are you hello Craig Andrew Scripps Brummy AFCC salon there Crossplay is going to be a big thing, isn't it? Surely, even if it's just console to console, Xbox players playing with you know, I mean, the fact you can play across. I know there's a lot of talk with um, a lot of the PC guys I've spoken to. And this isn't a general thing. This is just a few of the guys I've spoken to have said about um, the fact that doing multiplayer will be okay, and the fact there's that situation now where I think you can have it set what mods you're going to have. And I think they've also said there'll be a setting that automatically downloads the mod you don't have so you can join. I'm sure that was something that was mentioned. Of course, I might have dreamt that. 
Um, but a lot of PC guys have been saying the problem is if they're going to join and play with console guys, they can't have all the PC mods on they want. Unfortunately for the PC guys, that's that's something that they've got to consider if they're going to join other guys. But if you're happy to, then yeah, everyone will be able to play across the whole thing. Lock nuts, hi bud. Christian Gervais. Yeah, cr and yeah you're, I think I'm inclined you're right. It's, it will be epic. I mean, there's so much of it that's going to be epic. So much that will have changed. Will it have teething problems? I kind of started saying about that, didn't I? About potential issues and will it be a smooth rollout? There's always going to be things that, that get missed. I just... Yeah, that might be where I read it, Google Pop, Google Pop, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, you do stuff and you go through everything and you think you've ticked all the boxes. And it's only when, like, say, it gets rolled out, you might have, a, you know, ten game testers and you might have spent hundreds of hours testing the game and you might think you've tested every permutation of everything. It's only when it goes out to full release to millions of people those millions of people then do things to the game that you never expected um, and that's when those little glitches pop up when things go wrong when when people suddenly think I wasn't expecting that that shouldn't do that and yeah there's always going to be patch notes updates there's always going to be upgrades you know mad medic hello um, I'm playing on the 19th because I have been lucky enough to be one of the people that's getting a, a, um, an early access version of the game. Um, I should be getting early access to the console version of the game, not the PC version as well. So um, whatever I put up on Friday, whether it's streaming, whether it's videos, it'll be console content. So it'll be relevant to anyone playing on console because I'll be able to talk about slots and all, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is what I normally do. That's kind of where my angle where I come at it from. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Mr. Mike, Justin Teeley, hello. Leroy, Clefhammer. You know what? DJ and I did talk about doing a cross play. We have talked about it, and you know, there could be. I've done a lot of videos, a lot. I've done a few different videos with DJ and other guys, a whole raft of different guys. And I love playing with those. You know, I think doing some stuff like that would be amazing, I think. Hi the Tactical Farmer, how are you? Yeah, Blue Peter Principle, everything works perfectly until you present it to the audience. It's, no, it's Murphy's Law, isn't it? You know, when I've done mod reviews, I set it all up, I check everything, test everything, it works fine. You go into the video and something goes wrong. Or the other way around, something's gone wrong, I go through the video and as I start explaining it, it works perfectly. And you look like an idiot. You mean like, okay, that wasn't supposed to that. Anyway, that's what it is. Um, I don't think anyone could patch a game to make it DJ, DJ proof. I, I just don't think that is, that is possible. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to be a thing. Um, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Um, that was asked the other day. Fantastic question, Christian. Um, I wonder how long it will be until we get mods. Now I know for a fact there are some modders out there already making mods for FS22 and maps and well. Now, the question is not necessarily whether the modders have got the mods ready to go, it's whether or not giants are gonna be, um, have the mod situation up and running, whether they're ready to get going. Because technically, if mods get submitted immediately, once Q&A have tested them and they're good to go, within a couple of days they could be up. Farmer Pierce! Hey bud. Lovely to have you in the chat, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, they could be up very quickly. You know, I, how quickly? Who knows? But they could be. Um, Oxy's going to be up there. 82 Studio's going to be up there. I haven't spoken to... To Alien Jim in a little while, potentially, yeah. The, the anticipation for an Alien Jim, any of them, you know, there have been rumours, and I'm not saying definitely, there have been rumours uh, of Bullet Bill, potentially, I don't, and that's just a, that's an out there. I honestly, that's not done. Hey, Andrew. Um, yeah. 
Frank White from Poland. Thank you, Frank. How are you? I hope, I hope everyone's okay. You know, I, I'm blown away. Lancy Boy, you know, I mean, Lancy Boy stuff has come on leaps and bounds. I mean, there's so many 4D modding, you know, so many modders that the quality of the stuff that comes out, simulacrum modding, um, agrotechnic, nor die fall, you know, the list goes on and on. <laughs> are you backing up what I said, Google Pop, or are you, are you just saying that oh, I've confirmed it? I haven't confirmed anything. I am on Italian demo, yes. Tom Pemberton's map, you know what, that's one, because I watch Tom Pemberton whenever he puts a video up. Uh, I'm Johnny on the spot and I love watching his stuff. I, um, that would be amazing. I think because there's a lot, he's having a lot of changes um, happening at the farm, I think the map will need to be adjusted for that, unless we get the previous version, I don't know, we'll see. But that would be cool. Yeah, Tom Pemberton's would be amazing. MJ Mod, yeah, I mean, like I say, I, I, I will never remember everybody's names, and I always do that. And the list of awesome modders and map makers is it's just, you know, it's endless. And, and we've had some first time map makers, GB modding, GB modding, Six Ashes, Attingham, you know, so many amazing guys. And so many of those guys that have done stuff on their maps and then turned them into mods as well. Missy B, yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, there are so many. And Omatana, Omatana's mods, they're fantastic. What map would you recommend thinking about playing again? I haven't in about four months, but actually. I personally would say Six Ashes. If you like British maps, Six Ashes, you can't go wrong. If you want an American map, blimey, the list for that is, you know, American Life Farming, Stone Valley, I mean, they're both fancy, aren't they? Um, Lono, good. Oh, wow, where, I mean, where'd you go? Where do you go? Attingham having a reboot would be quite cool. I mean, we do often get a lot of ones get ported over from the previous game to the new game. Jim is a master at optimization. I mean, his maps as well, what you get. I've always said this, there's a difference between pretty maps and functional maps. And then you get the ones in between that are a crossover between a pretty map and a functional map. Those ones, that's the Venn diagram crossover. If you can get, if you can get both of those, that's amazing. And Jim has done that. Um, his functionality and the things you can do are just, you know, wow. Um, but his uh, ability to optimize mods and maps, and he's a map maker, not a modder. I want to put that out there. Um, I don't know how he does it, you know? And a lot of people that he has helped with their modding and map making have managed to do the same thing. They optimize their files and they get the slot counts down really low, you know. Um, so yeah, we will see. I, I don't know how long it will be before, that's where we started off, wasn't it? I don't know how long it will be before we see some mods. Um, I know a lot of people said, oh, are we gonna get mods on release day? I, I wouldn't have thought so. I can't say for definite. I'll be surprised if there are any. I think Giants, I'm sure. Did I hear that correctly? Oh, I don't want to get anyone into trouble. Um, did I hear correctly that Giants might be modding too? I'm not sure. I know they sometimes put some in. Um, Italia Demo on FS22. If we could get the full... Well, oh man, I would be blown away on that. Uh, Game of Granny Tana, hello. Randy Beard, hello. Jrad 450R, there's a whole load of names again popping in that I said, I'm sorry. DJ57, Ben Gaming, hello. Mercury Farms, yeah, I mean, I don't know. There, there, are, there are too many, and that's again why I said, when I did those top 10, you know, top of the crops, I couldn't, I couldn't pick a top five maps, and I couldn't pick a top 10. There were so many, you know, that were just incredible. I mean, Kaz 64, I mean, yeah, I'm just thinking that. Yeah, too many to even consider. Eastern European maps, there, I mean, we've had uh, so many Polish maps and some absolute corkers. And like I was saying, there, there were some map makers out there that it was their first ever go at map making. And I went on to do map tours and was absolutely blown away 
by some of them. Just in, in, incredible maps. Uh, snow, snow removal contracts. You know what? That's another thing I think would be great. If, if you have been watching my channel for a while, <laughs> you'll know I'm not averse to the contract here and there. Um, and I think if you're going to do seasons and you're going to have that part of the year when you've got all the snow and you can tend to your animals, you can do a bit of forestry, that kind of thing. Um, but having contracts to remove snow, clear roads, that kind of thing would be amazing. Thanks, Eric. Have a good day at work. Take care. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Jack. Country Guy 95. What's my opinion? Yeah, that, that's what I was saying, yeah. Um, will I make my character look like myself? If I can get a beard on um, FS22, absolutely my character is going to look as close to me as it possibly can. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the size of them. They each had a bit of a belly on it, but... I think I go. <laughs> um, do I think the new AI system will replace Follow Me course play? No, it's not course play. Um, as far as Follow Me goes, the thing about Follow Me, and I've only used it a couple of times on my PC when I first got it and I had a bit of a fiddle around. And um, if you're going out to a field and you need to take loads of stuff, you're going out and you've got another few bits of equipment to bring with you, follow me is brilliant. And if you want to go to sell stuff and you want something to follow, that's great. So now with the delivery options and the go-to, you can get stuff brought to you, you can get stuff delivered. It kind of is follow me in a way. Um, it's not course play. Um, you can hire a worker to do field work, which is kind of like hiring a worker now. Um, so, I don't know. I'm glad to hear that, Marcia. Oh man, watching while practicing your banjo. I'm one of those people that the idea of playing a musical instrument is phenomenal. My wife can play a couple of instruments. She's played a clarinet when she was at school, so it's quite amazing at picking things up. Um, I had a banjo for years, never learned to play it, and I sold it. Um, I've got a couple of harmonicas. I play a little bit. I'm not great with them, but I play a little bit. Um, I bought a ukulele recently because I was watching the video on Tested. And I bought one. I thought, I'll learn to play that. And just have never had time. <laughs> just where, where do I find time? Uh, the updates for, yeah, uh, Renabo. Oh, who was the map maker? That looks wow. Um, I think... The crossover, whether whether map makers bring their maps to console or not, it's a it's a difficult thing to do. It's much harder and it's a lot of extra work. And I think that whole massive shout out and thank you to the modding community and map makers and anyone who brings something over to console, they've had to put in a lot of extra work to do that. Now there are a lot of console gamers out there that became map makers and modders and their sole purpose for doing it was to bring things to console. So you've got a kind of mi mishmash of both. Um, but you, I mean, I can't think enough, can you? Hi, Rupert. Oh, sorry, I missed that. What was it? I, I would, would be, wouldn't be tackling. I missed it in the comments. Thanks, Farmer Pierce, for, for messaging. Uh, workers with odd shaped fields. My, my my biggest thing at the moment. Yeah, Cas sixty four. So I said, yeah. Ola Haldor. That's it. Follow follow his channel. I don't know. Um, is that I wasn't sure when I did the stuff about the AI workers yesterday. Um, that was workers, and you got a lot of stuff there, which is fine. Does that port over to contracts? Because it said about multiple workers, which we're going to have six on console at the moment. I don't know if that limit's going to go up or not. But does that mean you can have multiple contracts running? Because if you've got a field work option for your workers, can you take on a contract and get them to do your field work? I, I don't know. It didn't really talk about contract work. So I'm not sure about that. Iron Man 1971, hello. Oh, if I'd be map making or modding, no. <laughs> Thanks, Father Pierce. Um, no, I, I would love to. 
Um, the, the place where we go, thank you, CG Chieftain, Chief Titan, sorry. Um, have a coffee on me, love your content. Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> My coffee's stone cold now. I've <laughs> been talking too much. Um, yeah, I would love to. Yeah, where we normally go in the Lake District, um, we stay just opposite a farm. Um, and there's a farm about a five minute walk away up on the hill as well. And I've often thought walking past, I would love to make a map of that little area that encompass both those farms and the fields around. And one, I wouldn't know where to start. And um, I just don't know where I'd find the time to do it. I, I would love to, but Yeah, I've got enough on the plate doing videos and map tours and mod reviews and <laughs> it's crazy. Thank you, Ross B. Very kind of you. Um, yeah, the increased slot count is going to be phenomenal. I, you know, I did have a message the other day um, about the, the difference in slot count between PS4, PS4 Pro, and PS5. Um, excuse me. And the bump up in slot count on PS4 and PS4 Pro is massive enough. The bump up on PS5 is crazy. How long do I think cross-platform will be big before it dies out? I don't think it will die. It'll have, it'll have an initial... People will be excited about it. And they'll try it out. And I think for people that play multiplayer anyway, it will open up your potential avenues of gameplay. I know a lot of people that have messaged me a while back say, oh, you know, my friend plays on this and I play on that and we can't hook up. That will change all of that, so it will continue to work. You know. Just Jason, yes, the audio is working all the way from St. Louis. St. Louis, St. Louis. Um, yeah. That chat, the chat's going mad, I can't keep up with it. I'm going to do another swing round and I'm going to take another load of bales because I'm trying to do bits and bobs at the same time. Did the farm dog just go past the background? You might do. You can walk through. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mrs. Silly P just crawled across the floor behind me. You can, you can walk through. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Oh dear. to ask you, Mr. Lee, what would you tell me about FS22? I don't know anything about FS22, well, only what we found out so far. Um, do I have slow mode on? I thought I had slow mode on. I thought it was, but maybe not. Oh, it's okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of keeping up. I think I will ever allow third party button boxes on console rather than limited with side panel. Well, I don't know actually. I say limited with side panel. I don't feel limited. I love mine. It's amazing. Um, there's updates of all sorts of stuff in FS22. Animal breeds, not per se. Um, yeah, not animal. See what to say. They haven't really talked about a lot about beef cattle. We know we've got various different breeds, but they haven't gone into a lot of detail. It's like I said, with a lot of the blogs and the fact sheets, they told us enough to get us excited, to wet your whistle, so to speak, but didn't go into great detail. So there wasn't ground, you know, you get in the game and playing it, it's how you're going to find all that out. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird the side panel doesn't work on Xbox. What's that weird? I don't, suppose, I don't know anymore. I don't think it's even supposed to work on PS4. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, being the only choice. Yeah, I guess so. You know, if there were button boxes available that you could program yourself, yeah, that would be amazing, I guess. Um, a couple of people asked me and said they tried to move their side panel over to their PS5 and couldn't get it to work. One thing I had on my PS4 anyway, but needed to do on my PS5, was have a USB hub. So a one USB to four USB. So, uh, you know, one, well, a one to four USB hub. Um, then it worked fine. 
so yeah if you're not sure it should work with that but like I say FS22 I don't know we'll see um, animals growing from calves and yeah that would be amazing piglets to you know to go through that process would be incredible um, I think we've got brown swiss haven't we there's one USB on the back one or two the problem I had was when I tried to plug in my PlayStation 5 camera. Thank you, 4B Gaming. I will certainly get a few coffees for that. Thank you very much. Um, oh, I've lost my mod again. Lost my mod again. Lost, lost my track. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. It's gone. It's gone out of the head. Big L007, you haven't got to do that, man. Oh, blimey, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Show a lot of love in the chat for Big L007, man. Wow. Uh, with long, I will use my steering wheel and pedals and side panel if I'm playing just for me. If it's just me playing, I will do that. If I'm recording controller and side panel every time, I just find the process quicker and easier to cope with and deal with when I'm recording and trying to get things right, I think. Thank you, Hydra. I do, I do, I do try to put as much info into my videos as I can. I try to put as much info into my videos as I can. It doesn't always work that way. But I do try. <laughs> oh dear. So once I finish this stream, what time is it now? Oh man, it's nearly three o'clock, it's quarter three. I've barely done anything, I've been doing this for two hours. Um, I was trying to talk and do it all at the same time, that's why I don't get that sign. I've got so much to do off screen and I'm going to need to have to check out that Erlencraft uh, Post and see what that's all about. Yes, Zach, I know. It's often, it's, I, I've said, I said that earlier in the stream. I do that kind of part manual, part auto load loading a lot of the time. But when I'm off screen, I've got a lot of bells to move, auto load all the time. I said it's behind me. Behind the curtain, man, it's just GB modding in the Jesus. Hey, GB. I was just singing your praises, bud. Six ashes for me up there, and the Italian dem demo here. Two of the, my favorite maps on FS19, without any shadow of a doubt. So, thank you for everything you've done and everything you do. Awesome. Uh, Michael, did you see the third new map? Uh, Erlengrat, yeah, we, Erlengrat was out anyway because that was the Alpine expansion of this 19, but it's had a bit of a revamp. So I've, once I finish doing the stream, I'm going to drop off and have a look because I'm curious to see uh, what, what's what's going on. I mean, a lot of people have been saying it's quite wowzers, you know, quite amazing. I feel a lot more happy now. This, the whole point of this, uh, the, the, the retry of Italia Demo 15.5. Um, was the streaming, the streaming set up, would it work, could I get it to work, and I'm a lot happier now um, that it is working and does work, and I feel a lot happier if I do decide to stream, and I'm saying, I've been told I'm getting the game early on Friday, um, I hope that works, and I hope I do, um, I, 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 I want to keep saying when I get it Friday, but I don't want there to be a problem or an issue, I don't get it, but I should do. Um, I feel a lot happier about um, about streaming now. I came the wrong way. Oh, I cut across the grass last time, didn't I? <laughs> See, I got so behind the cut and I just didn't even think about it. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm hoping to stream Friday, yeah. Uh, UK release. Oh man, they did have a thing about release times on Monday. I can't remember. Um... 
honestly can't remember. I thought it was supposed to be midnight, but then a lot of times I've done releases, it's been like 9, 10 in the morning, so I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, GB's got some stuff in the works. Some stuff in the works. If it's anything like the FS19 stuff. Wow. Um, cool. I've got a funny feeling my other twin has just arrived home because I can hear Darwin whining in the front room. Darwin is farm dog, by the way. I always refer to him as farm dog, but his real name's Darwin. So, yeah, I can hear him whining, which means one of them's coming. <laughs> um, will your worker return your tractor after unloading crops? You're supposed to. If, if you set it off to deliver and you put it on a loop, it should come back, I think. Yeah, GB has got the knack. I mean, natural map maker, without a doubt. Um, right, let's do that. And that. Oh, thank you very much. I'll get the rest of those gone. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? And I've just realised I'm down to my, my last 10 minutes or so. Um, I mean, I could stream all day if I wanted to, but I, I've got stuff I need to do. Like I say, I have got um, people in and around the house now, and I can't have them all keep quiet. Uh, live streams are going to be a regular event moving forward. I'm hoping with FS22 releasing and the fact I now know I can get this all up and running myself, <laughs> um, that I will be doing at least one a week is the plan. I'm also hoping nothing is set in stone. I'm hoping to do a multiplayer evening, maybe one day a week. Someone asked earlier on in the chat about channel memberships. I am thinking about channel memberships as well. I have the Discord server, and I'm thinking about occasionally, if I do a multiplayer session, it may be Discord members only. I might do a membership, like channel members one, so if you're a channel member, you can join. A lot of YouTubers do it. I feel kind of bad, because it's that kind of, if you want to join me and play, you've got to pay to do it. I feel, I don't know, it just feels, everybody does it, that's the thing, that, that's the thing, you know? But if people want to do channel memberships anyway, because they don't, they, they don't want to do PayPal, or can't do PayPal, or they don't want to donate another way, but would like to do channel memberships, just let me know, and I can I can always set it up. If, if, you know, just set up anyway. And if people want to join and become channel members, the only thing I can think of that I can offer over and above what I do would be a channel members multiplayer session or something like that. You know, I, I, that's all I can think of. Uh, hello, Colton, S G Y, the tactical farmer. Always said, just Jason, Kevin Richter. You know, a few people have said that about not being able to hear me on their phones. And then I've got loads of other people every time I mention it say the sound quality is absolutely fine on whatever they're on. I'm not sure what's happening there. I've got it turned right up. Um, on my OBS it's turned up almost to its maximum. Well, not quite its maximum. But I've got the mic a little bit further away from me simply because I didn't want the mic in, in the shop because it's... I could have it underneath, I suppose, coming up from underneath maybe for next time. Like I say, it's my first proper stream using OBS and stuff, and I wanted to try and get it right first. Seems to be mostly people that are on their phones are having problems. I apologise for that. So what I need to do is get off the road and then check my field status. I need that poplar to be ready to go. Um, thank you, Austin. Much love to Miss CP and all his peeps. If you are in this chat, if you've been in this chat, if you are a subscriber, if you watch regularly, you are a Sealy Peep. You are part of the Sealy Peep tribe, if you want to call it that. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Stream needs more farm dog. You know what? Um, yeah, we'll try that. <laughs> we'll see if we can get him in the next one. The thing is, where the way I've got the camera set up, he'd have to come right up next to me. I suppose I could move the camera and show him to you. Um, but he's. he's He's in with Mrs. Silly Pit at the moment. Um, how's the man cave looking? You know what? I'm so close off finishing cladding the outside now. Because we had all the lockdown stuff and then timber becoming incredibly expensive and also hard to come by, the cladding I was using, I ran out and couldn't get any more. I've only got a little bit to go. 
Uh, but the inside is full. I mean, because I'm, I'm, I'm a collector of things, I don't know if you can see, probably not behind me, um, but I've got all my Lego sets I collect. From when I did the tour, um, I've got all my Lego sets. I've got a load more that I got recently. I've got loads in the man cave. I've got memorabilia collections. I've got um, I've got the neutrino wand, um, Egon's neutrino wand from Ghostbusters there. Hey, Tony, thank you very much. Treats for farm dog. That's very kind of you. Thank you. You'll love it. Um, yeah, I've got the neutrino wand there. I've got a lightsaber hooked up. Um, yeah, stuff's all over the place. So the man cave is chocker. I'd have to build an extension to fit anything else in it. Um, no, Scorpion, I haven't. I've been streaming since that came out. The Erlengrat teaser came out while after I started the stream. So what I'm going to be doing is, when I finish the stream, I'm going to jump over and have a look. Um, it's five to three now. I'm not sure how much more work I'm going to get done. Um, thank you to everyone that's saying they're proud to be silly peeps. That's awesome. Um, I think I might have to add a sticker on the uh, merch store that says hashtag Sealy Peep on it, I think. Yeah, I'll do that because, yeah. People are proud to be Sealy Peeps. That's cool. Uh, what's I going to do? Not that one. That one. Let's go across now and go to there. Field one. Growth. <gasps> no. That's perfect because one thing I'm going to do, hopefully, in probably going to be the last video on here tomorrow, bumper stickers will be cool. Uh, leave that because I need to carry on here. Um, thank you, Frank. Yeah, I might do the membership thing. I mean, then the day people can pick and choose. You don't have to be a channel member, but if, I, if it's up there, I suppose it gives people the option. Um, yeah, so the, the last video on here will be tomorrow, the last Let's Play, so it'll be episode 16. I want to try and get the, the baling done. On Attingham, I'm doing wood chipping of poplars. On here, I'm doing baling of poplar. Um, it says it's ready to harvest, and that's what I've been kind of waiting for as well. Brilliant. Right, so that's good to go. So here and Attingham are both ready to harvest. Thank you, Sean. Buy a pint on me, Miss CP. Love your content. Keep up the awesome work. It's very kind of you. I will buy a pint. Maybe a cup. We'll see. Um, do I use my side panel for operating forklifts and stuff? I still use the, the controller. I use the side panel for loads of stuff because it's right next to me. And when you're doing operations, just pressing a button and opening menus and stuff, it's just perfect for that. Um, but as far as crane operation, I've got so used to, it only does certain operations, not all of them. So I find myself, I was using that and the controller anyway, so I just kind of stuck to controller for that. That's fine. Um, I will tell Sealy G that people still want to see it. Um, thanks down on the farm, Sim. Take care, have a good day. Um, thanks for popping into the stream. And yeah, I will be doing more, so looking forward to that. Mahoosively. Right, that's good to go. That's good to know. Right, so I've got the horses in. Got some of the field cultivated. Got some of the bales moved. That's ready to harvest. I've still got some more to do. Yeah, did I start saying what I was going to do? I've got a load of different hats. The reason I didn't want to have a headset on... I've obviously got merch bits, but I've got various different things. Um, I've got farm sim hats. I've got an FS1... I've got a cow hat. So I thought when I when I stream, what we can do is if we get so many likes on the stream, I will change hats or put a particular one on. Or I know I was saying VF does things like that. Um, I've got a few different ones. I've, I've got my stormtrooper helmet, and I've got various different. I've got all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. So maybe, maybe, maybe in the chat next time we do it. Um, 468. Yeah. So when I stream whenever that is i'm not sure if i'm definitely streaming friday yet i'm hoping to that's the plan uh, and the streams moving forward we'll do that we'll have a little sort of set things if we hit so many likes i'll do this if you know a lot of youtubers do it and if i'm going to do it properly then let's go for it hi max yeah i'm interested to see how many how the different how animals are going to work full stop is going to be interesting i'm just fascinated to see where it's all going to go we are at 259 with just about a minute to go on the stream, um, I'm not really quite sure how to 
how to finish it. I guess I just hit end stream and end stream on the OBS. Um, Joe Wolf, hey Joe, hope you're okay. Farmer Manu, thank you, thank you, bud. Very much appreciated. Nice to see you. So I could shave my head. I could. I could shave my head. <laughs> I like the sentiment. I'm not shaving the beard. That's not happening. Um, hey, music man. Hi, Brent. You caught me just about. I'm literally just about to finish. Um, so, with that, I'll we'll carry on doing these bits. I need to get over and get my Attingham finished. Get that up. Check out the Erling Grat. Um, Video. Thank you so much to all of you. I will, I will stop that. Let's turn the engine off. Um, thank you to all of you uh, for being here, for being on the chat, for being so great, for being so kind and friendly, and for the donations, the generosity, the kindness that continues. Uh, I honestly can't thank you enough. So many names to go through and have a look. Um, but I think at just past three o'clock, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, what was the 17th now? Is it 17th today? It is the 17th of November. Um, I'm going to end the stream here. I will see you at Attingham Park for the final episode on there. That should post later on today. Um, and and then I will see you Thursday for probably the last episode on here, on Italia Demo. And then Friday, potentially, we're hitting that 22. Ending speech, yes. Good end, like it. <laughs> Uh, take care, everyone, um, and I will see you all soon. Stay safe.